Alrighty, we have uh, 3.3 now, and with 3.3, we are solving uh, systems of linear inequalities. Okay, so systems of linear inequalities. We're going to be graphing inequalities here. I'm going to start off with something simple. Um, and here is something simple that we have to start. Um, right here, um, what I want you to do whenever you're graphing is I want you to think of things in terms of equal sign. And really what this first problem is saying here, uh, graph x equals 3, right? So x equals 3 is a vertical line going straight up and down. So what that means is I go over to 3, I put a point right there, and we draw a line. Now, because there's a line underneath, you got to remember when we were graphing inequalities before, because there's a line underneath, it is a solid line, right? So I draw a solid line, try to make this as straight as I can trying to make it as straight as I can, going up and down. Now I need to figure out where to shade. So we pick a point not on that line, and a point not on that line is 0, 0. So I plug in 0, 0. So let's plug in 0, 0. Is 0 greater than or equal to 3? No. All right, now remember the rules. If it's true, you shade towards the point. And if it's false, you shade away. Well, that statement right here is false. So that means I'm going to shade everything on this side right here. The reason why I'm drawing arrows is we'll shade everything at the end. I'm just doing these so that I know the direction that I'm shading. Next up is y is less than or equal to 2. Well, think of that as just an equal sign. Graphing the line of a y equals a number is a horizontal line going straight across, which means I go to 2. So here's 2, right? And now I draw a line straight across, and the reason why this is a uh, straight line and it's not dashed is because of the less than or equal to. So I pick a point not on that line, so I'm going to pick 0, 0 again. Is 0 less than or equal to 2? Well, that's true. 0 is less than or equal to 2, which means I shade towards the point, which means I shade everything down in this direction. So. Basically, here's the problem. The problem is, and the reason why I drew all those arrows is, whenever you're shading, you're supposed to shade whatever overlaps. The only thing that has arrows pointing in each direction is this down in here. So this is the only section that gets shaded in because this is where they overlap. So this little section down in here is what gets shaded in. So graphing this one, x means it's a vertical line up and down. So at negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I put a point and it is a solid line so I draw a solid line straight up and down so I got myself a solid line straight up and alright so we have that done um, now we need to pick of a point that's not in the line and a point not in the line is 0 0 so when you plug that in is 0 greater than or equal to negative 5 uh, yep so that's true. True means you shade towards the point, which means I'm shading everything in this direction right here. So let's shade everything in this direction. Um, next up is negative 6. So, but it's negative 6 on the y. And remember, y means horizontal. So now I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I draw a horizontal line straight across like this. That's my best shot at a horizontal line. It's a solid line because there's a line underneath. And when I plug in a point, is 0 less than or equal to negative 6? Because I'm going to pick the point 0, 0 because it's not on the line. No, that is false. And if it's false, I shade away from the point, which means I'm shading everything down in here. So the only overlap is this little area down in here. This is where the overlap is. Um, graphing this, once again, Imagine that the line is this right here, which means the y-intercept is 3, so I go up 1, 2, 3 and put a point. The slope is 1, which is like saying 1 over 1, meaning I go up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. This is my line, and the reason why I'm just graphing more points, you don't have to, but there's your line, greater than or equal to, I draw a line and connect it, draw a line and connect it. And a point not on there is 0, 0. So plug in a 0 and a 0. Is 0 greater than or equal to 0 plus 3? What that means is, is 0 greater than 3? That is 
false. Zero is not greater than three, which means I shade everything on this side. Okay. Next up, treat this line like it is a negative two x plus four. Y equals that. So I go up four, put a point right here. I go down two over one, down two over one, down two over one, and I connect it right there, and it's a solid line because there's a line underneath it. I plug in a point, not in the line, zero, zero. Is zero less than or equal to four? That is true, which means I shade towards that point, which is everything down in here. The only place where they overlap is this little area right in here. Oop, went too far there. Um, shade in that little kind of triangular area up there. And with this one, um, it's the same. Y is equal to 2x minus 1. Look at it like that. Your y-intercept is negative 1. So I go down right here, put a point. I don't know what happened there. Um, so it's negative 1. I put a point right there. And the slope is 2, which is like saying up 2, right 1, up 2, right 1, up 2, right 1. And I connect it with a line. And I plug in a point not in the line. Zero, zero is not on the line. Is zero greater than or equal to two times zero minus one, which is like saying is zero greater than or equal to negative one? The answer is true. So I shade towards the point. Y is a negative x and a negative three. So I go down one, two, three, and put a point. It's negative one, so down one, right one, down one, right one. And I draw a line and connect it draw a line and connect it and I plug in the point zero zero because that's still not on that line is zero less than or equal to negative three is zero less than or equal to negative three that is false zero is not less than negative three which means I shade everything over here and this little area in here is where they overlap remember you only shade where they overlap all right um, when we come back here, I'll look at uh, three different lines.